Yeah. Uh, who's playing what here? Oh, uh, Fawn is Shulk. Fawn is Shulk. All right. This is one I actually haven't seen Fawn use in bracket yet of they the 16. They played Shulk on stream last week and then switched off for Duck Hunt. So, I mean, like, you know, this is definitely, like, a newer character that they're trying out and just trying to, like, you know, you, you, you let them get their lumps, get a few gains, and then uh, then you, you go back to old Reliable uh, just to maintain uh, in bracket. But, you know, just little by little, building it up. No doubt. I feel like Vivi and Fawn also just play so often, and yeah. I see them experiment with characters a lot uh, on both sides. But also, Fawn just plays every character that Japan thinks is a lot better than the rest of the world does. And Shulk is in that category, so I can definitely see this aligning. Offstage, no jump. Oh, that didn't kill. Oh, I guess only a 60. That will kill, though. I am wrong. I don't know this character well enough. Uh, Arsene still on the table. No sound effect even for forward throw with shield. Uh, catch of the late hit. Nair. Keeping back on stage, you just... This is a tough character to lose center stage against Shulk. Right. Smash goes away. Smash is such a funny pick when you're already at such high percent because it doesn't matter. Um, but Shulk... Wow. I would not have expected to tech that. Shulk is a little heavier than uh, he looks. But stock finally going to be sealed out. Um, ooh. Oh, I'm gonna I'm loving that. Reaction uh countering the Nair or any of Shulk's inputs, because they are pretty telegraphed, it's just hard to punish them. But getting reaction uh or send charge is just such a great way to approach it. Alright. Bomb's just cool, kinda standing at ledge, doesn't need to let anything happen. So far, Vivi's just held the lead pretty much the entire time. Um, Shulk's kind of a difficult character. Shulk's unruly, if you're not very familiar with how to play Shulk. Ooh, spot dodge up, Smash takes it. Shulk is a hard character to just kind of pick up. All right. Yep, more reaction counters. If you're getting too hitbox happy. Especially when they're so unwieldy, like those giant Monado hitboxes. Yeah, I can just counter you. A lot of Fawn just being at ledge. Uh, and Vivi being just like pretty cool with that. That's a good setup. You want Shulk having to reclaim stage. Shulk is much better at maintaining stage control than having to get it back. All right, off stage. Let's see. Just kind of waiting out the smash art. Is down throw going to do it or forward throw? Or forward throw? Not quite yet. Um, yeah, just waited out all of smash art. Ooh, great side B, but it got stopped by the platform. Would have connected. Yeah, it's kind of like fighting... Pikachu in this matchup. It looks like Joker just kind of weaves around a lot of stuff. Um, it's hard to actually get that hit on. And then pushing advantage with the counter being involved is also tough. I just like there. We see a, a low percent Nair landed. That could have been a grab. Could have been a little bit more of an extension. But Vivi just air dodges out and there's no consequence really. And now Vivi has stage again. Down throw, forward, or forward throw instead. Oh, had a call out on the jump read, but didn't quite execute on it. And back to ledge, but not only are you going to need to take center stage again, you're going to need to win neutral a few times, or like once with Buster.
<laughs> Nair is such an insane move. 360 degree coverage. Not punishable on parry. Ooh. Jury's out on whether that smash... Ooh. Oh, yeah. Didn't get the shield out in time. Wasn't a multi-hit. Couldn't do it in the middle. Um... I wonder if we get to see any more shenanigans with uh, character picks. I don't know how committed uh, Vivi is to Joker. Alright. More of the same. Small battlefield once again. Um, I definitely want to see a little bit more careful placement with hitboxes. I feel like uh, Fawn was getting a little hitbox crazy, uh, and Joker's able to punish it. Like, we saw the falling Nair there, could get some more extensions off of, you know, Nair's normally a tough to punish move, but Joker can fall right in there and get something off of it. Right there, yeah. All right. Great shield out of it, but just not seeing anything getting going. Ah, didn't go for the second hit of up B. The counter would have uh, blasted Shulk way further off stage. Just goes right for it. Tries to recover with an aggressive forward air. And Joker just framed it. It was just better. So yeah, more careful placement of hitboxes, a little bit more patience, like, you can react to when, like, if you throw out three forward airs really quickly, uh, and it looks like you're going to do a fourth, see if you can get Joker to, you know, try and counter it. Or you can empty hop a few more times. But, yeah, I'm just not seeing that many degrees of evolution on the play. That being said, who knows how well Vaughn has figured this character out. Probably not, you know. Haven't seen this character of the 10 that Fawn uses before. Um, that forward air getting with the very, you know, shades of uh, what I was seeing with Vivi with the hero forward air at ledge. Great tomahawk grab. That forward air hitting with the last, very last bit of the hitbox for the kill. So I like that going for the dash grab. I'm surprised that Vivi reacted to it, especially with speed. That time, landing aggressively worked out. But it's getting to a point also, uh, Vaughn doesn't really expect some of the moves to connect, so she's not really, I don't know, following up on things that you could convert out of. <laughs> the only Shulk that'll put on speed Monano and stand there for five seconds. I guess it's better to wait out. You can wait out Arsene way better than waiting out speed Monano. That's, that's a fair trade. I like that. Using a different hit of Nair landing to mix up the shield pressure a little better. That was a dangerous use of Smash Monano, but still living. This is the type of patience I was looking for. A willingness to shield, a willingness to wait, a willingness to react. And it does connect. And the first time we're seeing a, a lead for Fawn in the set so far. And now this is how Shulk plays best. Like, there's about four feet of laser between you and your opponent when you're playing Shulk. Uh, and when you don't need to push that for a kill, it, you just use it as a protective shield instead of a, a sword. There we go. A little conversion. Ledge. Let's see if Vivi can seal the stock with this Arsene. Definitely after that dash attack. All right. Vaughn opting to just wait a little bit. Does not need to deal with ooh, Arsene quite as quickly. All right. Tail end of Arsene. I don't know. 60% off of that Arsene is kind of brutal, especially on last stock. 
Uh, and Vaughn loses the lead. Maybe something now could happen, though, when... Um, I was waiting for an air dodge or a counter there. Maybe something can happen now that Arsene's gone. That's a grab. Off stage. Oof, dangerous Monado choice. Yeah, so far, we haven't seen Smash work in Fawn's favor once, I don't think. Alright, just kind of scrambling around. Everyone's waiting for a little bit of a hit from a distance. Ooh! And the first time we see Smash flawlessly used and not jeopardizing her life at all. I can change the future. I'll be honest, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect game two to go to Fawn. But um, some solid adaptation. I feel like <laughs> she kind of did what I, I was saying I would like to see. Well, my bad. Have, have the uh, pronouns changed? Because I remember last being told they and she is fine, but I just want to make sure. It's been a month and a half since I've seen her, her, them, so who knows? Three, two, one, go. Going back to small battlefield. We're seeing a little bit more patience out of VV2. Right out of the gate. Right, that's what I wanted to see. Get a low percent confirmed. Uh, we didn't see as many of them so far, but like, yeah, you Nair, you can get a grab. Wow, what a call out. The roll in with the second hit of up air. Yeah, lots of respect there coming out for Vivi. Vivi doesn't need to push when Shulk is stuck at ledge. Um, you know, if you got center stage and you don't have Arsene yet, you could just kind of hang out, and you're the one that benefits the most from that situation. You don't want to risk giving Shulk more stage to deal with. You want Shulk running at you. All right, off stage. And Arsene almost gone. And first Arsene being on without a stock being taken is a great sign for the pace of the game. There we go. Properly waiting out some air dodges. And, wow, Smashman, I was going to take the first stock. Some great adaptation. Um, lots of times when you're getting used to, like, you know, you're getting a handle on a new character, a lot of the energy just goes straight towards uh, just, like, piloting your new Ava and, like, execution instead of proper mind games and adaptation. So, huge kudos to Fawn for figuring this out so quick. Right, my Smash not taking it. Weird ledge play there with those Nairs and seeming ledge cancel. Off stage. And this lead just keeps on growing for Fawn. Oh, yeah. Smash Art. Not serving her well again that time. Alright. And now, Vivi just wants to wait out this Smash Art the same way you'd wait out Arsene. Although, gets a little something off of it. Sense still building. We haven't seen any, anything explosive come out of BB yet, but slowly whittling down, especially when in Buster Art he could build up a little bit more damage e easier when his opponent is in Buster Art, rather. Oh, great switch. That definitely would have killed. Uh, I'm getting a pretty good handle on Monado so far, from what I can see. There's some stray four switches every now and again, but definitely more advanced play than I anticipated for someone that hasn't played this character as much as as others. 
Uh, and now Vivi's got a lead. Uh, for the first time in this game. So the tides are changing a little bit. It's going to be... Kinda I want to see how she closes out this stock. That up tilt almost did it with Smash Art for sure. Um, Smash Art is going to be over. Oh, but the threat enough was enough to uh, get in the way of Vivi getting close enough to recover. Yeah, it's funny watching neutral between these two uh, characters. It seems like kind of a game of... You know, how many, how long am I going to wait for you to do an option out of shield? How long am I going to linger above you? Like, does the mix-up become executing it, like, instantly? Or am I going to burn my double jump? Ooh, just out of the, wow, that's, that's a big hitbox. I'm surprised the sword was long enough to not be uh, affected by it. Or not affect uh, Shulk's hurtbox. Lots of shield nares. Nickel and diamond way back up there. But you're at the ledge. Vivi waiting for a roll in. Doesn't get it. Off stage again. I mean, air dodge to the center. No. Back on with neutral. All right. Spot dodging just barely that landing grab. This is a dangerous spot. Oh, no. Smash is gone. And now Vivi's sitting pretty. And not too far off from Arsene as well. Just a few more stray hits. And we're going to see another Arsene most likely before... I don't know. Unless this edge guard works out. Oh, so close. That would have been it. Um, good stuff from both of them. High level play with characters they're not necessarily most familiar with. Yeah, that's a long roll-on animation too. Sorry if I keep clicking my tongue, and it's uh, a <laughs> it's a it's a force of habit, and probably really loud in the mic. <laughs> 